Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams, remember the name. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. This is honestly, sadly, unfortunately, but truthfully, pretty much what it's come to at a lot of Ross locations men's shoe section. What year is it? No more Nike swoosh, but have no fear because the Porsche Targa is here. And for $34.99, man, we have a deal. Back at it again. Another day, another treasure hunt. Except this time, instead of Ross, we are at your boy Burlington. I know, big surprise, big surprise. But you guys know what? Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might, if we get super lucky, even be able to find a pair of like Ferraris here or something to go with the Porsches from Ross. You never know. That's part of the treasure hunt excitement. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow Yellow Brick Road right to the Manchu section. Where, let me just get this off my chest real quick. Pessimistic Jeremy talking here just for a second. But let's keep it real. We're more than likely to be uh, disappointed in this Manchu section like the last 10 or so times. But can't stop, won't stop. Sooner or later, hopefully sooner, we'll find some good stuff. Who knows? Maybe today's that day. But you never know if you don't go. So... Later that same evening. Bada bing, bada boom. We are back at Burlington to make some good finds happen. You guys are probably wondering why am I back at the exact same Burlington on the exact same day. Well, you see, what happened was I remembered that I had quite a few pairs of kicks like these guys at home that need to get returned at Burlington. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and kill two birds with one stone, take care of that. And then if there's any good finds here, we'll go ahead and pick them up. Since I was already here earlier and you guys saw, I already started scoping out the men's shoe section. Well, turns out I actually did find a little something something, or you know what, in this case, I found a little two something something, but now that I'm thinking about it, as long as they're still here in my secret hiding place in this general area somewhere, probably only gonna snag one of them, but First things first, gotta make sure they're here. So, drum roll please. Let there be light. There we go, one of them, two of them. Bada bing, bada boom. Two Adidas, what were these called again? Uh, X9000 L4 guards, size eight and a half. And price tag, $49.99, comparable value, 90 bucks. But these are the ones that are definitely probably gonna be a go. These are, I can't remember which character, but it's somebody from Guardians of the Galaxy. As you guys can see, it says Ozelia Marvel. So I'm guessing these shoes are Adidas Ozelia. Even got the sweet little keychain over here. Even got an extra pair of laces right here. So we got all the goodies with these guys and they are a size 11, which is a good size to flip for $49.99, comparable value, 100. This is what the GOAT situation is looking like at the moment in the eBay situation. And then here you guys can see what they were selling for, or a couple of tiny sizes still are selling for on Adidas own website. So at the moment, at least, there's not really any crazy profit margin with these guys as far as like the supply and demand on eBay, GOAT, StockX, stuff like that goes. But in my experience, at least, for the most part, it's usually a pretty safe investment, I guess you could say, to pick up a collab like these where it's like Adidas or Nike and then some popular franchise like Marvel. And as long as it's not like some crazy size that's really hard to resell or I guess some brand or franchise that nobody cares about. But once again, I don't think your boy Guardian of the galaxy applies there either my spidey Spice senses are crazy. tingling and telling me to go ahead and grab these guys hold on to them for a little bit and something tells me that these guys are going to go up in value and that profit margin will keep on rising so we'll definitely scoop these up these guys i don't know the jury's still out on that one negative ghost rider the pattern is full but since I was here a couple hours ago, I may as well real quick run through the men's shoe section again the uh active wear section and then check out 30. Five minutes later. Well, 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 did my quick little run through the Menchu section number two. And 
not gonna lie sometimes it definitely pays off to do a quick little run through again even if you were there earlier in the day because sometimes you find some gold but uh unfortunately today's not one of those days the only thing i found was another pair of these guys the x9 infinities or whatever they're called so i think we'll leave those behind snag the guardian of the galaxy adidas and wrap this burlington hunt up a few minutes later and there we go just like my favorite fast food restaurant in and out we were in and out of that burlington spoiler alert maybe not my favorite fast food restaurant i'm not really a fast food guy but it is what it is you know return some old stuff acquire some new stuff and that my friends is what i like to call a w as long as these dudes don't turn into some like crazy nightmare which shouldn't happen but i probably just jinxed myself dang it anyways on to the next one got some giant size 16 Kyrie 7s maybe i don't know didn't even bother looking these up because of that right there then we have some giannis aka the greek freak which would be a good find except uh these guys got the same problem as these guys which is just like your boy Kyrie. the greek freaks are also suffering from size 16 itis which typically is a no-go i might look them up back in the day a couple months ago when times were tough i probably would definitely look these guys up and i might even snag them but my friends times are a changing the hurricane brought in some good finds in the form of your boy Kyrie irving which i think these are the Kyrie sevens in dark blue and then we got the same Kyrie sevens i believe in this bright red colorway and then that's not it we also got Kyrie's friend kd and i have no idea what kds these are if i had to guess i'm just gonna throw out a number and say these are like kd 14s probably off but either way they're a good find and not only that they're also a good size check that out man size 10 now that's not something you see at ross every day good find good size santa claus is coming to town santa claus is coming to town thanks ian i know you cause a lot of destruction but for me at least you brought the kids holla holla five dollar man i look like some haunted apparition or something all right anyways you guys know what time it is hasn't been this time in a while but it is officially ross o'clock let's go i see the dons are back at ross donovan mitchell threes dark blue royal blue duck duck oh what, what where are these nike golf good nike golf it's like a victory tour or something always an easy sell and that's the end but first Turn it up a new degree. I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I see. Work hard every day, work hard every day. I'll be doing everything in my own damn way. Ain't nobody tell me shit. I'm on top of it. Writing hits that make other people feel like writing hits. We gon' get every little goal that we wanna get. Never quit. It's 2023 and we back at your boy Ross and your boy Marshalls. And guess what else is back? The good finds. Let go. Ross man shoe section. Let's go. Cha ching. Bada bing. Bada boom. First find of this Ross location. Digging these. You know what? What size are these bad boys? Nine and a half. Oh, we got a problem. These are the new Metcons, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. This is actually, ironically, the exact color where I've been looking for myself. That's my size. Between nine and a half, ten and a half. I can make it work. $49.99. Not mad at it. I think the retail is like $130, $150, something like that. Definitely snagging these. And then what do you know? Looks like they got a buddy down here. Another pair of the teal, greenish, aqua, black, something like that. Metcons. Except this one, size 11 and a half. I'm guessing it's probably the same price, but you never know it, Ross. There we go, $49.99. Comparable value, 113 11 and a half. Not the best size for reselling in the world, if we're keeping it real. But for that price tag, I can dig it. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Moving on down the line to the bigger sizes. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Some Air Maxes? <laughs> yes, sir. Cha-ching. $55.99. Comparable value, $143. And we're looking at a size 10. But that's not all. Looks like these guys, just like the Metcons, also have a buddy. Double check the size 10 to make sure this one's right. And then we'll move on to the friend next door. There you go, size 10. And these ones, 10 and a half, same price. And then double checking the size on these dudes. There you go, 10 and a half. 10, 10 and a half, yes sir. Those are definitely, without a doubt, 
good sizes to resell. So looks like we're off to a pretty hot start. I'm kind of digging 2023 so far. And then last but not least, at least for this Ross location, we got the women's pinkish Air Max 97s. Ross price $56.99, comparable value $120. These guys, or my bad, these ladies are size seven and a half, which is definitely a good size. The only negative I see about these ones is for the most part, they look pretty good. No scuffs, marks, until that is. You look at the bottom and uh, yeah, looks like these ladies are a little bit of a dirty girl. Nobody likes a dirty girl. At least on the bottom, but I'm hoping I can probably clean that up, make them look brand new, nice and shiny. Working at the car wash, working at the car wash, yeah. Oh, to the next one, oh, to the next one. Welcome to the future. You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, tomorrow's another day. Take a shot, you got.